All right, hey YouTube, Dumas RC here, back with another video, and this time we are going back a ways. Uh, it's mostly all, um, I guess what we would call Hot Wheels Premium stuff, from, but from back a while ago. These, even though I said on the series rundown video, I was probably not going to be able to get most of these bone shakers, other than the blue one, because I already had that one. I ended up coming across all three of these, these ones for a decent price over the, um, in that since I filmed that video and now. So <laughs> I was able to complete that set other than the, the uh, I don't, obviously I don't, I don't have the, ho the holiday one and I don't have the set. But we got other, other ones from like the early, Early mid two thousands, and I think this fifty seven Chevy said. I think this is actually from like ninety nine, if not two thousand. Yeah, these being from two thousand nine are the earliest items that I have, or the most recent ones I have, I should say. So we'll go ahead start with the bone shakers. The first one, and then based on the uh, date codes, this one being a B zero two, and as you can see there, it is a chase version. This one in uh, the brown and flat black get that one open Oop, there's the charger cable for my phone and here is the bone shaker so let's see I did notice in the card the tire was kind of all uh, scrunched up in the corner there i imagine being out of the blister now that should uh alleviate itself over time so but yeah there that's the bone shaker let's see what do we got here a little brown overspray there I actually don't know what the main color was. If it was painted black, then they did the brown over it. If they did it brown, then did the black over it. I really can't tell. Yeah, so unfortunately the tires back here, it was kind of, like I said, when it was in the blister, it kind of got all uh, scrunched up in the corner. But it should, uh, now that it has room to expand, it should, I imagine, go back to its normal self. That's the brown and black one. The next one, this is the one I've actually had for a long time, just in the blue. This one I believe I actually picked up in store back 14 years ago. <laughs> so there is the flat blue one. And again, tire just being really ramped into that freaking blister over 14 years it's gonna deform it a little so hopefully that should expand back out normal over time here i have had mentioned i probably mentioned before but the bone shaker is a very popular casting it debuted in 2006 first edition I was one of Larry Wood's last designs as a act like as a direct uh, Hot Wheel employee because after that after 2009 I think he basically he was still part of Mattel but he was more contract work he wasn't like a direct employee anymore after that I believe yeah super proper casting one of the uh, few Hot Wheels cars they actually commissioned a real one to be built. I'm sure many of you have seen that one. All right, next up, we've got the yellow and brown one. All right, and there. You want to focus? Focus. Focus. <laughs> so yellow and the flat brown. Yeah, I really don't know what color these were painted first because normally you might be able to tell from the uh, the spin post, but this one being a tab and post assembly, I believe, like when they go through the painting process, these the bodies are held by one of the posts. Yeah, 
So that's why it, it gets covered and it doesn't get any paint on it. Definitely a cool look casting. Sorry, it's quiet there. <laughs> All right, and the last one, which I actually did have at one point. Uh, the last one in late 2009 in purple and green. Yes, I actually had one of these uh, back when they came out. Um, but the difference, but I ended up using it in a trade for uh, the 2012 uh, race uh, 2012 race series racing series the uh, last mix that was released that was mostly only found up in Canada and probably in a few uh, other international locations the uh, the road racer mix with the Greenwood Corvette then the E30 M3 James Garner Corvette and such and the uh, the Porsche 935-78 this was used as part of a trade to get that set. So, in the end, I think I made out pretty good. <laughs> and I was able to pick this one actually up off of uh, whatnot a little while ago. So, again, with the tire, but hopefully, I guess I mentioned before, those will uh, reform themselves without, be without having the uh, restriction of the blister. So that's the bone shakers and I can put them with the rest of those 2009 garage cars all right next up we got these uh, American racing 70 Chevelles one in silver one in uh, orange with silver stripes these were I don't know the full history of like what was the deal with these was honestly so copyright 2005 so he's probably came out actually in 2006 um it was back when they had like i think they had deals with a couple of the uh actual wheel manufacturers um to do replica pieces like this and oh this is gonna be fun to open <laughs> oh let's see here Yeah, so they did, they did some. They did like a whip series that had a, had several in the West Coast Customs, and then uh, and they had a few in, in the, the packages like this with a replica wheel there, and I assume plastic plastic, and then uh, the cars here. And so those other ones, I'm not necessarily going to go after them purposefully, but these but this pair actually has metal bases, so they. And I found them from my local guy Mays. He had them in his shop, so I figured, what the hell, I will pick them up. All right, let's see. Can I get that tape off with that freaking glue there? All right, get that tape off. Get this tape off, maybe. Put that off of there. Fun trying to open this damn thing. Glue came with that. So hopefully. I think I can pull the base out of here now that those plastic tabs are throw those the hell out of the way so I don't mess them up. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, that's plastic. <laughs> All right, where's my screwdriver here? There we go. All right. Hopefully, will it work? Yep. All right. Got the front screw there. And these packages I will just end up throwing out because I have no use to keep them. Because these cars will go straight back into jammer cases. I'm actually going to fill out the 
last case that I used for the uh, to the the layers of garage stuff. I didn't do anything with this wheel. Probably not. Oh, that's screwed on there too. All right, screw that. All right, so that is a silver one with the replica American Racing wheel there. Get that tire back onto the rim. Maybe. There we go. <laughs> so. Okay, they actually did that all right. So this casting was designed originally, like when it was originally designed, um, it was meant to be used with wide wheels in the back and normal with wheels on the front. But it looks like with this wheel, even though it's on this one too, it looks like they tooled uh, an extra bit there to hold the wheel out. So that is a nice touch on that. So the wheel track, so these wheels aren't sucked in so much compared to the fronts. So that looks, that actually looks pretty good. I was glad I came across these. I think I remember seeing them before, but like I, they don't pop up too often. At least I'm not usually searching them out, I'll say. I'll put it that way. And then, uh, like I said, Maze had, had the pair sitting there. And I'm like, you know what, what the hell, I'll grab them. So, definitely a cool one there. All right, so next up we got it in the brownish copper color. <laughs> or the, yeah. Actually, that might be the easier way to do this. Where's my knife? Yeah, it's much quicker. <laughs> the base off but I can at least get the cover off maybe come on whoa I really gotta get that damn tripod This one, a couple screws. Come on. There we go. Come on, get the damn screw out of there. So here is the orange copper one. Oh, that kind of sucks seeing the silver stripe back here. A little bit of a. Uh, I'm assuming it was like that in the package. I, I guess I didn't notice it. Actually, got a little uh, mess up there on the paint in the front, too. That kind of sucks. But, excuse me, I'm not going to worry about it too much because I'm not going to seek out another. <laughs> Actually, yeah, in the silver, damn, this one got, this one was kind of messed up when it was in the package, wasn't it? Yeah, I did not notice all that originally. That wouldn't have happened just popping it out of the package right here, so. Something happened before it went in. 
<laughs> they even still. I kind of. I wish they still had this wheel. I'm sure because they don't. Any. They stopped using it not long after just because of licensing and whatever. But it is a nice. It is a nice wheel. And definitely, and it's more weird, realistic uh, width compared for the scale of these cars too. So either way, I, even with the damage there though, but you know, show it at certain angles with without looking at that, it looks pretty good. So that is that Chevelle. Next up, what do I want to do? I'll go up up here to one of the more random uh, castings that they use. And this is kind of what I was talking about with uh, some of the wheel stuff that they've done. The Hummer H2 um, in the West Coast Customs line. These were, let's see what copyright. We got a copyright on here somewhere? Somewhere on the bottom here. Uh, 2003. That's when these came in. So this casting does not have you may depending on how long you've collected, you may not have seen this casting before. They only have used it a few times. They, they had these technically two. I'll explain the blue one here in a minute. Uh, there's a, this promo uh, energy drink or whatever the hell it is over there, and. Not open these freaking packages. And then there's a couple um, FAO Schwarz releases. And one in red. I don't remember what the other color was. Oh, that stinks. That's a plastic base. That one is too. Interesting. That one doesn't feel like a plastic base. Sorry, because uh, I I had another version released of this because it would end up getting used uh, for the random uh, three uh, random three kings set, and then as in in, in a uh, happy birthday set that was exclusive to Walmart at one point. And that was the last time we saw the casting. I thought that birthday one was a metal base. This one's making me question that. Because, yeah, these are plastic base. So here's the silver one. With the old tent, with these old, uh, ten spokes. And these are multi piece these are definitely a few pieces, a few different pieces, too. Damn, I wish I... Shit, I wish I had the damn birthday one right here to compare it. I'm pretty sure that's a black pla black painted uh, base on that one. Metal base. Damn it. Anyway, yeah, uh this grill this uh the grill guard here is a separate piece. There's there's a few different pieces on this one, so. Yeah. Cool casting though. I kind of wish they. I wish they still had it. Would be neat to see if they would uh, bring it back at some point. So there is the silver one. Next up, we got the yellow one. Now I gotta get a box cutter for some of these boxes for these cases. Plastic base on that one too. All right, so here it is in yellow. West Coast Customs logo on the rear window there. Definitely neat casting. Like I said, I kind of wish they still had them, still had it. But considering it was last used. See, when was that birthday set? That was the last 
birthday set that almost didn't really show up at Walmart, honestly. I think they were mostly showed up at, like, big, at least stateside, big lots and stuff. It did not, I remember, that was a weird bir mix of the birthday cars. There's a whole thing behind that, but that's for another video. <laughs> but I believe that's where the, uh, kind of like in this, uh, lime green yellow color with the uh, off-road five spokes so anyway there's the yellow one and then you have this what they, i think what they called it was electric blue release so back in like 2004 time frame or so um a lot of their premium they experimented with uh like you know chase versions of cars in their premium lines at the time so, so separate from obviously separate from what are uh, the treasure hunts and all that and they so if you found the car in this um electric blue color that was the chase version i do not know how comparatively rare they are to each other blue one open here so the one I love the color of this blue but the one bummer thing about these was so as you see on the yellow and silver ones here you got the taillight detail you got the extra logos and stuff like that extra light details and such the chase ones did not get any of that for whatever reason. But that blue really does pop. <laughs> Damn, I really got I really gotta check on the bases with those other ones. Maybe they weren't I don't know. Anyway, uh and then another really random one of this uh Hummer H2 is this uh, hydro qu uh, hydrate quick trip or quick trip hydrate promo release. I have no idea what quick, hy quick trip hydrate was. I assume it was probably like some maybe an energy drink or something like uh, Gatorade and stuff and such. I assume it was that kind of thing, that kind of drink. But they did one of these as a pro. I think the way they did the graphics on this one was what they called um, fusion graphics. This was a way to get like a wrap on a car, but not you do it as a wrap. Kind of like what they're doing currently with. I think it was the same idea as what they were what they're doing currently with car culture and boulevard and all that. But as you can see, a much cleaner finish on the on this one. And these are this thing's twenty years old now. <laughs> so who knows why the hell the modern stuff especially when you get like up close like this, the the current one the new ones look like shit. They gotta be able to make that better. <laughs> All right, next up, what we want to do? We'll do the fifty-seven Chevys first. We'll do the we'll do those ones last. So this was, let's see, forty anniversary of the fifty-seven Chevy. Oh wow, this is older than I thought it was. So I don't remember exactly where the hell these were sold. It was probably, probably this one was probably at uh, KB Toys. So I know I had other similar sets. And I think I've opened a couple of them on camera here. But they were, they, I think they were from uh, uh, KB Toys. So copyright 96. Yeah, these are definitely from 97. 40th anniversary of the 57 Chevy. We'll get, that, get these open. Okay. 
Let's see, did we, nope, it messed it up. Okay, so let's move some of these cars back here. Bone shakers. All right, so these are probably all held on. Yep, yes. these freaking twist ties. <laughs> See if I can uh, get these off as quickly as possible. There's that. This one. Yeah, man. Really didn't need to twist these freaking ten times. <laughs> Get the stack blue one out of there. Next up, we'll do the Smoky Unic Fifty Seven. Next up, let's see the yellow one. I don't buy some sort of race version. Almost got it here. Jesus Christ. There we go. Then we got the center one here on this turntable. Just about there. There you go. All right, so first up, we'll go ahead and look at this one, the hot rod version. Maybe I can get these off without really screwing stuff up. All right. That and. All right, there we go. over there garbage all right so this first one done up in hot rod flame paint hopefully i can straighten that axle out better all right so all right so the 50 this 57 kit seven this yeah 57 chevy casting originally debuted in 1977 is a larry wood design Yes, it does have a little strange proportions, but again, it is a much older design compared to what Hot Wheels would do nowadays. It's got a Hot Wheels look to it. And these wheels, they are not real riders. They are what they basically what was called a pro circuit wheels. They were two piece, it's two piece wheel. This center part is a cap. Um, and they de de they debuted. In the series that was it was called Pro Circuit uh, series. So he's called basically base ended up being referred to as Pro Circuit fives or PC fives. So that is that fifty seven Chevy. Next up, we'll look at this blue one. 
which I actually already have one of these. <laughs> I got one of these, I don't remember how long ago. Several years ago. Several years ago. But done just you no. Know, done up his stock Bel Air look. Nothing too fancy, but it does look good. And yes, this one does have real riders. <laughs> Alright, next up we'll go to this yellow one that I'm really not 100 percent certain what it's meant to represent. I don't know if it's just supposed to be like a drag car, a general promo car that Chevy did or something like that. Oh. Ooh, pull that out. There we go. Now that'll roll. Okay. So these are from before they started tooling the uh, wheels with the little kick out after they had modified the bases to not have the kick out to allow the wheels to roll. I just realized autofocus was not on. So that, all that bit was probably blurry as hell. <laughs> yeah, so this one not done up as a Bel Air because if it was the Bel Air it would have the uh the accent there on the fin. So this is more like uh, I think what they called the 210 coupe or whatever it was. Something like that. So Yeah, you can see copyright 76. So that means that is how old this design is. And they still use it in the main line today. It's been modified a little bit over, to, over the years, but they still use it today. <laughs> And then lastly, we got, ah, uh, of course they censored it. <laughs> we got Smoky Unix 57 Chevy. So, I'm probably wondering if, depending on how into racing you are, you're like, who the hell is Smoky Unix? He is probably one of the most legendary NASCAR crew chiefs and car, car builders in history he was the kind of guy who could read between the lines in the rule books and he would build something per the rule book was you know, legal allowed to be raced nothing breaking the rules however there were ways around things <laughs> a lot of it was you can't do it this way, or you need, or the dimensions need to be X, Y, Z. Well, it doesn't say it can't be this, or hey, you need to have a minimum of X, but there's no set for a maximum. There's like, there's a lot of a lot of gray areas the guy played in building the cars back his cars back in the 50s and 60s, and. That right there saying best darn garage in town. Look at it, everything that he did. It was it was uh, marketed as the uh, best damn garage in town. <laughs> so obviously in a Hot Wheels car they were going to kind of center that down to be a little more G-rated. <laughs> yeah, this one, this one's awesome. Anything Smoky Unique is awesome to have as a replica. <laughs> All right. Lastly, we are going to look at Christmas in, well, May. <laughs> uh, first up, we're going to look at the 2007 Holiday Rods Purple, or not Purple Fashion, Tail Dragger with Santa hanging out the window. in that car that did not actually get damaged too bad so here you got Santa's ride in the tail dragger actually can you see oh yeah okay well, he's actually in there 
I've never seen one of these up close, like out of the package. So, okay, I've seen that. Maybe I'll be able to look into the red one a little better. We'll see what night. We'll see when we get that one open. Yeah. Got Santa's tail dragger. All right, and then lastly, we got this one. It was like a little. I think these were done like a uh, meant to be like uh, ornaments. Back in what do we got? We got a copyright here somewhere. Ninety nine. So okay, so back in two thousand. So we got her in red. Let's see how the hell I can open this thing. Maybe. Twenty-year-old cardboard. Twenty-five-year-old cardboard, actually. All right, here. Let's see. Get that off of here. Maybe. Christ. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, that broke. There we go. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. So that's just up under there. So we're not going to worry about that. If you want to see it up close, that's this. This I actually am going to kind of hang on to. I'm not going to throw out this plinth here. The car's not staying on it, but I'm not going to throw the plinth out. No reason to yet. that out of the package here. Come on. There we go. There's that. I can lose that. We will save. Well, maybe. Oh my god. Oh, that's going to be a fun thing to get apart. It's actually up under the, uh, through the body. Let's see, can I get that? All right, that one came out okay. And can I get that one without screwing crap up? So there is Santa's red tail dragger. They actually put larger wheels in this than uh, it normally would have. <laughs> Christmas 1999. So can we see Santa's butt in there? Yeah, it's just kind of sitting in there. Can 
No, he's in there pretty good too. <laughs> so, as it is, that will do it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Please tune in again, and we will see you next time. Let's see, get these lined up here for a shot, because I always do. <laughs> there we go. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good one.